Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, talk about this story. Okay. We'll talk about the weapons uh, after. Yeah, because they play a huge role in the game. So basically, uh, the Earth is being invaded by, like, demonic forces. Um, the, it's Everything seems to be proving ineffective while fighting them, so... Uh, mankind has sort of devised these like giant suits because uh, when you operate the giant mech suits you can actually handle the demonic weapons without being corrupted. So you play as like a little android. Yay! That's her. Uh, when That's her when she's outside of the uh, suit and then when she pilots it you can uh, pick up all these different weapons. Uh, yeah, because sometimes when you see just like the like the main art, the promotional art, you think there might be two characters, but it's just uh, the, the squires actually. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, but they play very differently. Like uh, Jeff was saying earlier, she's weaker, but she's not completely uh, defenseless. Like she has her whip, uh, and the whip she has like indefinite uses of, like contrary to the weapons that have uh, Durability. Exactly. Like the weapons break over time, but you get a whole bunch, so it's not really a problem. Some people ask us about that. It's like, oh, what about the breakable weapons? It's like, don't worry. There's going to be a ton of them. So the point is, you want to actually like use them in a whole bunch of different ways. So like, you can swap out weapons. Uh, you can throw them, and if they don't break, you can pick them up again. Uh, you can break them intentionally to activate a spell. So like, for instance, when I break the javelin, I get a little heal bonus if I need it. Uh, you can also set weapons as checkpoints, that sacrifices a weapon as well. So if I die, this is where I'll start off then, so... And you can see the weapon durability on the corner, mm -hmm. top left. So. Yeah, so, uh, and all the weapons are like, based on like, historical, uh, actual historical weapons. Uh, the idea is that like, the game will take place like, all around the world in different parts. So they're somewhat based off like, some history like for instance this is like the level that takes place in scotland so it's kind of like a scottish castle and all the weapons are like claymores and celtic blades and things like that yeah. so we do you know a fair bit of research into the game uh we're gonna have like some of the demons be again researched on actual like well not actual historical <laughs> demons but <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, who knows? You're right, exactly. Uh, um, yeah, something that's nice to mention because uh, this level it seems like it's set in medieval time, but the game is not set in medieval time. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's kind of like a near future setting. So, I mean, castles are still around, but no, it's not like a medieval game. It's more present, near future. So, which explains. Uh -huh. Oh, no, yeah. Which explains why you'd have like big robots uh, walking around. I mean, we're going to go through the game a couple times there. Yeah. Want to go? Well, first question we can answer. Someone in the chat answered, uh, is this a uh, Metroidvania? Nope. Not really. No. <laughs> no! What do you mean? Um, no, it's, it's more like a um, linear type of game. Like more in the lines of like Mega Man where you kind of decide like which path you want to tackle. Um, but like those... Um, paths are like pretty straightforward, like more um, linear yep. than uh, Metroidvania. Yeah, there's going to be some exploration, like some branching paths, but it's going to be kept to a minimum. It's not like uh, exploring a, a like an open-ended world. It's really point A, point B, uh, more to the point action uh, platforming. So, yeah, for people that ask, it's not really a Metroidvania. It's more of a Vania. Yeah, someone said more of a <laughs> Zelda 2 style action platformer. That's probably closer to, uh, yeah, that's a little bit closer to the kind of thing that we're going for. So, yeah, that's probably more to the point. You're getting close. So, yeah, I must die, right? So that you, so you, you can show how Oh, it sure, is. yeah. No, it's not. I need to get killed. Want to kill. Yeah, you can just. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh. No, I die. So, what happens? Okay. Can you go back in? Now no. there's the mech. Oh, I'm protected <laughs> now because there's the mech that's fighting there. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's interesting. That's a bug. Um, just oh, no, it's right there. Like it hits the mech yeah, and it doesn't do anything. Protects a shield. Um, 
So yeah, now you're forced outside of your uh, power suit, and uh, if you can get to one of the tanks, uh, you can get some energy and then teleport on the telepads. So yeah, you're not you're not uh, out of the game yet. There's yes. still a way you can recover it, but if you don't, you're gonna have to be stuck outside until you can. So. Yes. So when you don't have your armor, is mm -hmm. it worth like filling it up? For like, sure. Right now, yeah. yeah, it is perfect. So you just fill your armor with power, but even if you don't have it. Yeah, like the whip has multi-purpose. It can grapple to hooks, and it can uh, get to the recharge tanks and you know fill up uh, some energy if you're yeah. missing any. And then you get to the teleport pads. Yeah. And so there are uh, like many that are going to be on in the level. We're going to have yeah, many teleporters, exactly. right? And there you go. And uh, it's not all new, but it's there and you can still use it. 